Hello, welcome to the weekly shear. This is Er Shimshon. It is Ches Elo. With the new year, Bo'alino the Toiva coming quickly. It's still Tavshin Pei Gimel. It's Friday, Mitz Hashem. And it's Parshas Ki Seitzei. So I've got an interesting piece here because uh, I've got a, we've got a Mazel Tov, Baruch Hashem. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, we just had another great grandson, Baruch Hashem Mati and Elana Helperin. So we're going to do the reward for Shiluach Hakain. Let's see where that one takes us. Ki kori kan sipor lefonecha shalech teshalach es ha'em es aboni v'tikach lach. When there's a bird nest in your midst, you shall send the mother away, and you may take the young for yourself. What does that mean? Don't say the reason we do the mitzvah of Shiloh HaKan, <clears throat> sending away the mother bird before taking their chicks or eggs, <clears throat> is because Hashem's mercy extends to if someone tries to make a connection with what between sending away the mother and mercy, he is silenced. That's the Gemara and Bracha stuff. 33, it's Lamed Gimel Lamed Beis. We will tell him to be quiet. That's what he's, he's diving Shmon Esra and he adds that in. But they used to do add in other things, but that's not permitted. We will tell them to be quiet, because this mitzvah is not about whether Hashem is merciful. It is about fulfilling a decree of our King issued, and it is not a t- our place to take to try to decipher his intentions or motivations. That's what the Gemara says. Okay, Kach Gozrani, and yet the Midrash in Devarim Rabbah says that just as Hashem has mercy on animals. He shows mercy to birds as well. How do Chazal know that? From our first, when there's a bird in a nest, and a bird's nest in your midst, it's the same Pasuk. So they two contradictory things. Doesn't this prove that the mitzvah of sending away the mother bird is about the mercy of the Rebbeinu Shalom? And another point, you could just think about it, and it, we should teach us to be merciful, you know, to do this. Okay, another point to consider, the Midrash continues, the reward for some mitzvahs is honor. The reward for other mitzvahs is wealth. The reward for Shiloh HaKain is children. And the, as the verse says, you may take the young for yourself. Why is this particular mitzvah rewarded with children? The Zerah Shimshon answers the last question by citing the Midrash that says that fulfilling the mitzvah of Shiloh HaKain will hasten the arrival of Mashiach. Ooh, another segula. The Gemara in Yivama 62a tells us that Mashiach will only arrive once all the neshamas in the goof have been, <clears throat> or the heavenly treasure house were known as goof, have been taken from there. Since this mitzvah hastens Mashiach's arrival, it is reasonable to assume that it will also give the one who does it the merit of having children. <clears throat> Since every last soul of heavenly treasure, of the heavenly treasure house must be sent out before Mashiach comes. However, we still need to understand why Mashiach's arrival is connected with, with this particular mitzvah. A Zoyer and the Zoyer Chadash and Rus brought in the Shach's commentary on this parsha tells us that when a person does Shiluah HaKan, the, the mother bird is filled with tremendous pain over her missing offspring and cannot find peace and wants to kill herself. This causes incredible pain to the angel in charge of the birds who comes before Hashem seeking mercy for the mother bird. Now, when this happens, Hashem too is filled with mercy and says, if this angel is seeking mercy for the bird in this in his care, I, the merciful God and the source of all mercy in the world, he must certainly have mercy on my children, the Jewish people. Woe that I destroyed the Beis HaMikdash. So it's a, a domino effect. <laughs> While it is true that the mitzvah Shiloh HaKain arouses heavenly mercy, it is not right to say that Hashem decreed this mitzvah because He's merciful. The mercy is a byproduct of the mitzvah and stems from His having mercy on the angel in charge of birds. To us, this mitzvah may seem like an act of cruelty, actually. It causes the mother bird to cry in pain. Where is the mercy? Right? Why? That's why the person who says His mercy extends... To a nest of birds is silenced.
is if you're praying, you just tell them to shut up. Next, while it is true that the end result of the mitzvah will be due a huge dose of mercy for the Jewish people, the main reason for its fulfillment is because we are commanded to do so by the Rabbi Shalom and not for any other reason. Anyway, so they should have a mazel tov and bring the baby into the bris of Avram Avino, and everybody else should be blessed with uh, equally effective and in, in, in great abundance. Children, wealth, and, and health in great abundance. Everybody have a wonderful Shabbos. Say